Okay, so I nearly just spat my dinner everywhere. It feels like Christmas has come early because we've just had a whole slew of information drop about Season 1 of Modern Warfare 3 and the Warzone integration. But that's not what I'm going to focus on in this video today. Instead, I'm going to focus on something even more exciting. Something that I never thought I would see happen and something that I know all of you watching this video are going to be extremely excited to hear. And that is, we have finally had an official response from Activision and Sledgehammer Games about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3. Now this started a couple of hours ago when a clip of Swag circulated around Twitter with him saying that he had been told by the Sledgehammer dev team that they would be addressing skill-based matchmaking soon. But since then, we have had an even bigger breakthrough. And this comes from the Twitter account Modern Warzone, who says that he has spoken to an Activision representative and they have issued this statement. We know there is a lot of interest in the matchmaking experience, especially around how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together. Nothing is more important to us than the experience players have with the game, and matchmaking is a big part of that. We've been working on our matchmaking system for well over 10 years, and we continue to spend a ton of time and energy on improving the matchmaking process. This involves people working at our Call of Duty studios, our back-end services team at Demonware, and other groups like our Player Insights team. It's a large effort that we've worked on for many years, and our approach combines latency, search time, and skill, along with many other factors to try to find the best match experience for you. Talking about this topic in detail can be hard, and we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our work to share with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after Season 1 launches, and we'll also make it a part of our ongoing discussions with the community. Now, first things first, let's just say this, we bloody won. To all of the people who have commented on these videos saying to stop moaning about skill-based matchmaking because they will never address it, well, we have finally got at least somewhere. The fact that we at least have some acknowledgement of skill-based matchmaking from anyone, whether that be from Activision, Sledgehammer, Infinity War, Treyarch, this is the first we have heard about the matchmaking system ever. Let that sink in. We have never heard anything from these guys before, and now finally, we have not only some acknowledgement from Activision, Activision, we have the Sledgehammer team talking to content creators about it, and also we have been promised that this is going to be an ongoing discussion with actual physical details being shared with us in the coming months. Now let's just get this out of the way. We do need to temper our expectations. This by no stretch means that skill-based matchmaking is going, and I think Exclusive 8 summed it up perfectly with this tweet. It was great to hear from them finally touch on this at the studio. I'm not sure if we'll end up getting the amount of transparency or changes that we hope to see, but officially acknowledging it is at least the first step in the right direction. And I honestly think this take is bang on the head. Look, the thing is, there is so much shady and weird shit going on with the matchmaking system in Call of Duty, and I don't for a second believe that we're going to get the amount of acknowledgement that we want from this. We're not going to hear about skill-based packet bursts or skill-based lag or hit detection or any of that sort of more tinfoil hat stuff. And the chances that anything could change are pretty slim at the moment. That being said, the fact that they are willing to acknowledge it at least opens the discourse. This at least allows content creators and news journalists and people to ask questions. Anyone who has spoken to the developers or the publishers personally has been told not to say anything, has been told to sign an NDA, and has been told to keep all of this a secret. And the fact that they have just spilt the beans is absolutely amazing in terms of where we can take this going forward. I'm sure that we are going to get some sort of information about how the matchmaking system works. And as a result of that, when they do another like live stream or when they do another Reddit Q&A, these questions will be there and I'm sure that some of them are going to be answered. Now, the fact that they're acknowledging it at all means they at least know that it is a problem with their core community. And with numbers for Modern Warfare 3 dropping rapidly, you have to think that maybe, just maybe, they're going to be willing to at least make some light changes, even if that means they keep a protected skill bracket and the barriers for entry to that could be quite low. Maybe if you don't even need to be that bad to be in the protected bracket, but everyone of an average skill level and above can be kept together and play together at least adds that variance in the match making system. It means that the average lobby might end up stretching from like 1kd players to 3kd players. Instead of all those 3kd players being lumped into one match with shit connection, they might actually be able to play the game all together. It would mean that you could play with your friends again. It would mean that the Call of Duty that we all grew up and know and love could indeed come back. Now obviously I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. We literally only have this paragraph that I've read to you and the clip from Swag is our only acknowledgement. And to be honest, it's not a lot to go on and I'm sure we are going to hear more in the coming weeks, but if I could just say 
day, going from nothing to having two things mentioned about it in a day is more than huge. It is more than impressive to think that as a community, we have all come together to discuss our distaste and our dislike, our basic hatred for this matchmaking system. And as a result of that, we have actually got some movement. It has taken absolutely years, mind. I made my first skill-based matchmaking video in Modern Warfare 2019, nearly four years ago. And since then, instead of things getting better, they've got progressively worse. Every Call of Duty that has come out since Modern Warfare 2019 seems to have a more and more egregious skill-based matchmaking system. And like I've said time and time again, the main problem is because we have heard nothing about this matchmaking system that has basically given people permission to just go absolutely crazy with their theories and their thoughts about it. Because patterns have leaked from Activision that say that things can be changed to your gameplay, whether that be health pools or hit detection. Because we have had all of this leaked information and nothing official, it's gotten to a point where the Call of Duty community, for lack of a better word, is absolutely hysterical. Look, obviously I'm going to keep my ear to the ground and I'm going to keep covering everything that is being said by Activision, Sledgehammer, anyone about skill-based matchmaking and you guys will be the first to know. But as it stands, on the whole, I would say that today has been good news. And whether we get the full transparency that we both want and deserve is another story. But for now, I said we relish in this moment and chalk it up to a win. But anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Average Joel. Peace.